you're watching Texas Gun Blog, today we're looking at a Cimarron 1911 with a nickel finish chambered in 45 ACP. A quick look at the Cimarron website. They describe this pistol uh, as a semi-automatic 45 ACP 5-inch barrel nickel. They don't really assign a model name to it. Uh, however, the SKU number is 1911N as a nickel 00. They say the 1911 is a model favored by gun enthusiasts of many varieties. It was the standard issue sidearm for the U.S. Armed Forces from 1911 to 1985. The Cimarron 1911 is our first semi-automatic offering. It's the next logical step for Cimarron as this was the next generation of firearm used in mass in World War I. The Cimarron 1911 has the correct historical markings, the original 1911 frame with a Type 1 smooth mainspring housing and has a limited uh, lifetime warranty and it is Colt parts compliant. So a little bit about the gun from what we noticed unboxing it. This pistol is brand new in the box. As you can see towards the rear of the slide there, uh, there's some old uh, caked on oil seems to have dried uh, on the gun, but should come off with some uh, CLP or uh, some frog loop. So with a quick wipe down with a cloth, we're able to see the finish is fairly decent. As you can see here in the video, pretty shiny nick nickel finish. There were some imp uh, imperfections in the, in the finish and a couple uh, light scratches right out of the box. So uh, we weren't really surprised by that. Cimarron being a uh, more of a budget uh, model firearm. Um, but from what we've read, uh, these are manufactured in the Philippines. Um, one thing you will notice right, after, right off the bat is this. 1911 does not have the uh, frayed, the scallops behind the trigger guard that you see on a lot of 1911. So it's more of a 1918 style, all, although there are some differences. The uh, safety is a little different. The checkering on the slide stops a little different. Hammers a little different. But overall, uh, it's a little closer to a uh, 1911 or 1918 uh, model Colt than some of the other pistols in its price range. These are right around 500 bucks, maybe a little more brand new. Uh, you don't run into them very often used, but uh, you will find them used right in the high 400s, low 500s. So overall, uh, pretty much what you would expect in a budget 1911. There aren't a lot of options out there for something like this with a true uh, 1918 style frame. So um, definitely a nice budget gun, but uh, it is what it is. So. Uh, we hope you enjoy watching the video. This gives you a good idea of what you'd be looking at if you're looking to order one online. So as always, check us out at Texas Gun Blog, and thanks for watching.